Previously on Silver Sun. Star runner to unidentified caller. Come in, please. Caller, please identify. Come back. Where are you? Delta V607. This is Pegasus 1 to Pegasus 2. Have received your signal. Awaiting further coded instructions. Over. Wait a sec, go back. It's a rogue file. Looks like some sort of glitch. It's probably just an accumulation of random code. I'm disabling it now. You may have been able to fool everyone else, but I know it was you. You suckered me once. I'll never let you do that again. I'm getting a signal. It sounds like a distress beacon. Triangulate now. I want to know where this is coming from. Zandy was right. It is a distress beacon. It's coming from within the Sargasso. Is that a... It is. It's a J-class. Exactly the same as us. Star Runner leaves on its 90-year journey to the New World. On board, an elite young crew and 550 settlers frozen in suspended animation. Please respond. Keep trying. We need to send over a boarding party now. This I'll is go. Star Runner. Do you I can assess the operational status of the ship and report back. We don't even know what's happened to the crew. So a medical officer should go, just in case. Thanks, Mara. Steve, you lead the team. It is one of our fleets, so there'll be cryons on board. Yeah, take things with you. Panja. Still no answer, and the disk's interference is affecting the distress beacon's ID tag. I need to contact Earth. Karen, get me a communications link. I need to let Command know of the situation. I'm working on it, but it's a Sargasso disc. It's a nightmare for the signals to penetrate. Nightmare full stop. I thought we were the first of the Silver Sun fleet to leave Earth. So did I. OK, guys, prepare for search and rescue. Keep your eyes open. You don't know what we're dealing with. Could you give Mara some assistance, please? These are to boot up the mainframe for download to Star Runner. These will analyse the ship's air supply and scan for airborne viruses. This is a record to establish what went wrong, what needs to be done and what happened to the crew. It's in and out, people. Now, all clear on what you're doing, Mara? Establish air quality and provide medical assistance as required. Until the all clear, you all need to keep your helmets on. Tane? Run systems analysis, open access to mainframe computer and establish direct link to Star Runner. I'll be in the hold. If anyone wants to join me, they're more than welcome. Once you've set up the air samplers, Mara, you join Deeds. At the first sign of any trouble... Call for backup. Let's go. No unnecessary risks, all right? It's a search and rescue mission. I know. I don't want to have to come and rescue you. That's not the plan. Okay. Take care. Good luck. Be careful, Dad. Watch out for ghosts. Psycho. See you when we get back. They'll be okay, won't they? Yeah, yeah, they'll be fine. Bridge to escape module. You're clear for launch. Eyes open, team. Launch sequence activated. Do a portside flyby to eyeball the external damage at close range. I can land this thing inside the utility ducts, get us right into the ship. No, we'll dock at the starboard emergency access panel and open it up. We want to be able to get on and off the ship quickly. It's a good thing I brought my can opener. Once inside, the layout should be much the same as the Star Runner. Don't you like this plan? Oh no, I think this plan's great. I just wish I was watching this plan from the safety of a Star Runner monitor. They'd do the same for us. Tane's right. Hold on to your hats.
Gravity field generator's out of wax. So watch your step. Boarding party to Star Runner. Do you copy? Star Runner, do you copy? Tain, try yours. Tain to Star Runner. Come in, Star Runner. Okay. No outside communication. Great. The lights are out and there's no way of telling Star Runner what's going on. Does this deal get any better? Okay, we're splitting into teams. Tain, you stick with me. Diggs Help me, Murray. Scott, me! Diggs! Switch on my leg! Get Diggs, it off! Diggs, where are you? Get Diggs! Diggs. He's all right. I tripped. A bit twitchy, are we? What is that? A power cable. That looks like someone's had a go at rerouting. Pretty stupid hardwiring into mains like that. Or desperate. I'd say the emergency power's been compromised. No communications, no sign of life. Don't worry about checking the air, it'll be poison for sure. Hey, it's clean. Still not taking my helmet off. We'll keep them on for now. When we come back, the air filters will have purged the ship. OK, let's do this. Tane and I will take a look at the gravity field generator and get the juice back online. But I need to get to the bridge to install the patch for Pancha. We're staying together. Deeks, you and Mara, check out the pod status. <sighs> Any time with the lighting will be good, Steve. Finally. Come on, Mara, we're supposed to be in the hole. The sooner I can go and check in on the clients, the sooner we can get out of here. I'm just seeing what the situation is. I might need extra medical supplies. Yeah, sure. Looks like they were pretty desperate. I think this was food. Oh, gross. Maybe those lights should stay off. <sighs> Steve, we're wasting precious time. I can't help you in the engine bay, and you can't help me on the flight deck. It's just warp bulkhead frames. Stay in contact. If you see anything, call for backup. Affirmative. See you on the bridge. Obviously they weren't expecting guests. See if they're all there. Well, if I'd booked a ticket aboard this ship, I'd be talking to the entertainment officer. Let's just get this done so we can leave. No word. So Gasso is playing havoc with our communications. We have upload. Finally. We should be able to run communications through this patch. It's corrupted or something. What was that? No, you don't. What's the problem, Pancha? I'm going to have to chase this one, sir. It's some sort of streaming problem. Keep trying. Door. 
doors open and shut all the time. That's what they do. I'll check it out anyway. No, wait, I'll only be a minute. Mara? Mara? <gasps> We're supposed to stay together. Calm down, Deeks. There's nothing here. Yeah, well, the sooner we locate the crew, the better. How are we going to find the crew in there? I'm running the inventory now. If all the data's intact, we should be able to identify the occupants. Those cryons are pretty lucky. Whatever happened here, they got to sleep through it all. I've got it. Bring it up on the view screen. Navigational cable. That's John Darius of the Infinity. I fear. Karen, bring up the Infinity's launch date and technical data from the Silver Sun records. No, sir, it can't be the Infinity. The Infinity. Silver Sun Fleet. J Class Star Cruiser. Commander John Darius. Launch date. They left six months after us. So what are they doing out here? More importantly, how did they overtake us? Look at the dates on that log. Three months into the future. The cesium clock must be wrong. Zandi, Shang, find a way through this communications block. We need a link with Earth. We'll need to go beyond the Sargasso disk. I can plot a course. It's not an option. We stay with the Infinity. So this is going to take time. We don't have it. The Infinity is still vulnerable. Pancha, keep working on that log. I don't know how much more of it I'll be able to salvage. Stay with it. We need to find out what happened. According to the log, there are ten pods allocated to the crew, all of which are filled. So we found the crew? Sort of. We know they're in there, we're just not sure where in there. No fatalities. Reading stable vital signs. Shouldn't be too hard to find them. That's if the locator system's working. There's a lot of pods in there. Well? All right, all right. What did you do? Nothing. I just tried to locate the crew. All it did was... That was weird. Maybe the ship doesn't want us to find the crew. It's just a bug in the system. Tane? Starboard engines had it. Port? Too early to say. I'll have to run a diagnostic on the inertia chip. My guess is that she hit something big and she hit it fast. Might explain why the gravity system's offline as well. So back we go to get the necessary equipment to get this girl back on her feet. Got our work cut out. Well, no one said it was going to be easy. But we've got to get her space worthy. Sooner the better. Let's get out of here. Star Runner managed to pick up the Infinity's weak distress signal because it was compressed. That's why it was able to penetrate through the Sagasso disk. But you tried that before and it didn't work. But now we have two J-Class starships to use. We have twice the signal strength. Yet we patched through the download link and harness their communications grid. Kind of like a stellar megaphone. Worth a shot. Then, I believe, we should be able to contact Star Command. Transmission will be degenerated, though, just for a little while. But we'll make sure this works. That's what I like to hear. Commander Siri X. Commodore Sorensen. We have a situation. The Star Runner has responded to a distress call from the Infinity. The Infinity's in the Proximal Quadrant. It'll take months to reach them. We already have. That's impossible. We had our last contact with them barely a week ago. And you've had no contact since? We lost the Infinity Stellar Tracking Pulse three days ago. All attempts to contact them since have failed. It was three days ago that we intercepted their weak distress beacon from inside the Sagasso disk. The Sagasso disk? That's... I know. I don't understand how they got here. But their ship has sustained major damage to the hull. I have a boarding party there as we speak. 
assessing the Infinity's status. Commander Darius and his crew? No word, I'm afraid. Communication is difficult between the ships due to the Sargasso disk. That's what's also affecting this transmission. I see. The minute you have any information, I want to be informed. Is that clear, Commander? I understand. Escape pod to Starrunner. We're coming home. It was a ghost ship. All broken and quiet, just as it was when they went into cryopods. When you say ghost ship, did you see any? Maybe you bought one back by accident. It wasn't haunted. Just dirty. Although your mind kind of does play tricks on you in the dark. Are you sure you don't want some? No. Was it really scary? No, it was uh, kind of peaceful. Peaceful? The crew might be asleep, but the ship isn't. You saw a ghost, didn't you? Did it try and grab you? There'll be some rational explanation. You felt it too, didn't you? Yes. As if there was someone or something watching us. Yeah, but it was all in our imagination. What about the sounds in the roof? Structural stress. And the food scraps I cleared off the whole console. A rotting leftovers, just like the ones we found in the sick bay. No, didn't you notice? These ones were still fresh. Being stranded like that is my worst nightmare. You read my mind. I was worried about you. Why? It's just a ship with some crew and cargo. Same as Star Honor. Except it's not meant to be here. We'll find out what happens soon enough. Imagine putting yourself in cryo, not knowing if you'll be rescued. Just like going to sleep. Only the sleep can last a lot longer than eight hours. Which is why we should be going back to rescue them now. Stop wasting all this time. The boarding party has returned. So, can you confirm the crew are in cryo? Correct. With your permission, I'd like to keep the Infinity crew in suspension until I get a clearer picture of the situation. I'll trust your judgement. My crew should be able to handle the other repairs. For the moment, our main focus is to work on the damage to the Commander's log. We should be able to decipher it soon. I look forward to hearing its secrets. Commodore, is there anything you're not telling me about the Infinity? Did you know Commander Darius? Not personally. Prior to their disappearance, Darius was having problems with crew morale. He indicated some unrest within his ranks. I don't think he was handling it well. I see. If I knew any more than that, I would tell you. I understand. What you need to find out is which crew member can tell you what really happened. Only reanimate them one at a time, starting with Darius. What we know is that the trouble had something to do with the disagreement over rapids. Commodore. Commodore. Escape module to Star Runner Bridge. We're preparing to dock with Infinity. The ship's gravitational center is out by 20 degrees. Preparing for manual correction. Thanks, Mara. This could get a little bumpy. Copy that, Steve. Divert thrusters to starboard vents. Correcting. Listing negative 17 degrees. 14. 10. Approaching correct gravitational center. Let's go. Locking in new calibration codes. Here we go. Codes locked and shutting down. Good work, Dane. Now, nav codes. The ship? Sounds like the Infinity thanks you as well. It's a crew member's pod. No ID number apart from its mail. Core temperature 23. No, 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 core temperature, not room temperature. 
That's what I did. Give me a look. What are you doing? No heartbeat. Medical opinion? Rapid defrost. Too late. The seal's broken. According to the computer, all the pods were filled. No fatalities. All crew members accounted for. So where is he? Stephen Tain have managed to correct the gravity generator, and the download of navigation codes is a success. Good. Now the Infinity knows where she is, let's hope she can fly again. How's the commander's log? No joy yet. However, we have had some luck gleaning some data off the ship's computer. Anything of interest? It's all pretty raw, but the Infinity's computer suggests that shortly after their last Earth transmission, they encountered some sort of ultra-high energy. Solar flares? The energy reading's far too high for solar flares. What are your thoughts? It's the time code. Every date on the ship is three months into the future. I thought that was just because the cesium clocks were out of sync. Cesium clocks don't just get out of sync. They're the most accurate timepieces ever created. Why are they wrong? Maybe they're not. I've tried to come up with a logical explanation, and I can't, which really leaves only one other option. Which is? To get where they are, they must have travelled through a wormhole. Yeah, so? We went through one of those. But they must have spent months at the other end before they found their way here. Right, that's the diurnal positron switch fixed. With those new nav codes, we should be able to reinstate the... Tane? Tane, where are you? I need you on the bridge. Tane, are you there? Tane, report. Diggs, where are you guys? Is Tane with you and Mara? Mara and I have separated. We found an empty crew pod and she decided to search. You what? You had strict instructions to stay together. Find Mara and meet me at level four. We need to find Tane. Copy that, Steve. Hello? Anyone there? Didn't you hear Steve trying to call you? No. Steve, Deeg's found Tane. We're heading up to level four. Here, let me help. Has he been calling long? Couple of minutes. What are you doing? Uh, I heard something. Could be the missing crew member. One of the pods was empty. Deeg's is going to check out section three. Any ID? Male cadet, that's all we know. Well, I've covered most of this section and they've sealed the corridor in section four. That leaves the lower level. I was just on my way there. Let's stick together. This place is giving me the creeps. <laughs>